Hey guys, so today I am here with the Barricade Texture Black Mirror Relocation Kit fitting all 2007 to 2018 JK Wranglers. So taking the doors off your Jeep is one of the best features that it has. However, when doing so, you are going to be removing your mirrors, which is removing a lot of your visibility. Now a great solution to that is relocating your factory mirror to the A-pillar, and this kit by Barricade is going to do just that and be a great option to take a look into. So this kit will include the mirror relocation bracket itself itself for your factory mirror and it's also going to include a filler plate. Now those are going to be very durable made of a steel construction able to take some abuse especially if you guys are taking your Jeep out on the trail and it's going to be covered in a black texture powder coat finish which will protect the steel underneath but also give you an aggressive look in the meantime. Now they're also going to come with a gasket to make sure that there's no metal on metal contact keeping your Jeep as clean as possible. Now what I really like about this is the fact that this is going to be a no fuss and no hassle design. Once you take your doors off, you really don't have to worry about your mirror at all. Perfect for you guys out there that are taking your doors off very frequently and don't want to think at all about your mirrors. With all that being said, this kit is going to cost you roughly $100 and in my personal opinion, I think that's set at a very good price point for what this comes with. In comparison to other A-pillar relocation brackets, this will come with a little bit more considering that the passenger side bracket is adjustable. So once you're moving the mirror forward onto that A-pillar, you are losing some visibility, especially on the passenger side and considering that this is adjustable, this will gain some back. Now in comparison to some other choices or other solutions for trail mirrors on the page, this is again going to be your most hassle-free solution. Other options for mirrors will usually include quick release mirrors or even hinge mounted mirrors that you'll have to take off and reattach whenever you want to use your door or use the trail mirror. Again, this is perfect for somebody who's frequently taking off their doors and doesn't want to think about their mirrors at all while still getting a quality construction. So install is going to be a one out of three run on the difficulty meter this is very easy to install with a couple of basic hand tools so speaking of that install let's jump into that now the tools that I used for my install were a 3 8 inch drive ratchet a 13 millimeter deep socket a 3 inch extension a 5 millimeter allen socket a t40 torque socket and an impact wrench so our first step for this install is to remove the top of our mirror from the base here so I'm going to use a t40 torque socket to remove the bolt that's holding the two together So after that bolt is removed, what we can do is just pop our mirror off of the base and then we can remove the actual base here. So then we can remove the two bolts that are on the inside of our door here holding on the base of our mirror. I'm going to use that same T40 torque socket to remove those. Before we reattach our mirror, what we're gonna do is attach our filler plate. This is going to take up the empty space that's in our door after removing our mirror. Now we're gonna reuse our factory hardware. So again, you'll need that T40 torque socket. So you're also gonna have a gasket. You wanna make sure that that is on there before you go ahead and attach your filler plate. And we can put that through, make sure that that's flush with our door. That should hang out there for a second. Then we can line it up and attach our hardware. What we can do now while holding our filler plate is just tighten these up with that T40 torque socket. Now we can move to our mirror bracket. Our next step is to remove the two lower bolts on our A-pillar. Again, we'll be using that T40 torque socket. Next, we can grab our passenger side bracket. This is gonna be the adjustable one. The driver side is non-adjustable, and you're also going to want to have your gasket there, and we can take those factory bolts that we just removed and mount this up in its place. After those are threaded in, we can tighten up the top one with the same T40 Torx. So in order to access this lower bolt, what we need to do is unthread the bolt that's holding on the secondary piece of our bracket here. We need to slide this out, and then we'll be able to access that bottom bolt. Then we can tighten up that lower bolt. I'm using a three inch extension. Then we can reattach our secondary bracket. 
So you are going to have three holes here allowing you to adjust your mirror to wherever you want it to sit for the best visibility. Um, this is just because since the mirror is moved forward to the A pillar, you do lose some visibility. So moving it outward will gain you back some of that visibility. I'm just going to put on our button head bolt. We have a flat washer, a lock washer, and a nut. And then before we attach our mirror, we can go ahead and tighten that down. So now we can tighten down that bolt with a 13 millimeter socket and a five millimeter Allen socket. What we can do now is take our mirror and our factory bolt and attach it to our relocation bracket. We can tighten that up with our T40 Torx. Then you can repeat that process on the other side and you'll be all set to go. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe. And for more videos and products like this, always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.